So in network recommendations, there are certain things that you must do like uh, use passwords on your Wi-Fi so that uh, people cannot connect to your home Wi-Fi network. Limit admin access of the network. You should always have change the default passwords of your Wi-Fi routers. Then uh, use multiple DNS. So the DNS allows you to contact the actual website server because it translates the web address to the IP address. So there have been cases where people have poisoned the DNS servers and you thought you were being taken to your bank's website whereas you were taken to a malicious website. So it is very important to have multiple DNS servers in case one of those fails. So you have the other server which can, which you can use and uh, reach the websites. There are a lot of public uh, DNS servers which are uh, managed by big companies. So you can uh, go ahead and have a look at them. Then you should also use uh, strong passwords, passwords uh, that are not easily uh, guessable for example like just using your date of birth or something the best idea is to have certain sentences with certain information that uh, you are aware of then you should always download software from trusted sources and use uh, secure mobile devices when we come at the home entertainment system these days we have a lot of uh, systems which are connected to the internet and uh, most of our TVs are getting connected to the internet so one thing that you should ensure is keep your devices in the LAN so your LAN is limited by uh, your Wi-Fi router which you have at your home or say a modem and you have secured it using the Wi-Fi uh, password. So it is advisable that you just keep it over the LAN then it becomes difficult to access that particular entertainment device from the internet by some uh, malicious uh, user. Then again you have uh, internet accounts. For example, you have uh, a Netflix account, an Amazon Prime account to on which you use to uh, watch videos. Now here you should use some strong passwords which uh, others cannot guess as we talked about uh, in uh, strong password policy before. Then if there are certain devices which you are not using, it is always advisable you disconnect it because you might forget in some time that yes, this is a device and it has been connected to the network and say it, if it doesn't receive any updates as you have not been using it, it might become a point of failure for your network as people could gain, gain access by coming to know that this device is available on your network and it has these vulnerabilities. Then also keep a track of the accounts that you have. For example, we tend to share uh, the home entertainment accounts with a lot of people and sometimes we might go uh, to different places and tend to use our accounts there. So you should be aware of where all have you used your account. Now what you can do here is in a given say month, go to your account and see where all your account is being used. And if you feel that there are certain accesses or say certain logins that you do not remember, it is always a good practice to deactivate it. So these are certain things that you can take care uh, to secure your home network. Now we talked about a lot in uh, network security, but we have just seen the tip of the iceberg. And to get into the depth of each and every topic, we'll have to take an entire course on uh, security. And there are certain things that we haven't talked about like uh, the IT laws of our country and there are a lot of countries that have implemented uh, IT laws. Now we do not have the time to explore all of that but uh, after this video you have a learning extension uh, trajectory which helps you to go and look at what the current IT laws of our country are and there will be a small quiz on that too. So you should, uh, you should be aware of what the laws are. Thank you.